God Blessings, isang makasaysayang hakbang ang muling pinangunahan ni Pangulong Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr. matapos niyang pangunahan ang pagpapasinaya ng City Core Solar Batangas 1, ang kauna-unahang solar-based load power plant sa buong Pilipinas. Ang planta ay may isang daan siyamnaputpitong megawatt peak solar capacity at sinusuportahan ng tatlong daan dalawampung megawatt hour battery energy storage system. Ibig sabihin nito, kahit wala ng araw, tuloy-tuloy pa rin ang supply ng kuryente, hindi lang pang-araw, pati pang-gabi. Sa proyekto ring ito, inaasahang mahigit isang daan, 58,300 kabahayan ang makikinabang sa mas stable na kuryente. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the Republic of the Philippines, His Excellency Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. Good morning. We are gathered here for the ceremonial energization of the City Core Solar Batangas 1 solar plants covering Lombangan and Luntal here in the municipality of Tui, Batangas. As a former governor, I was one of those who believed in the promise of renewable energy. At the same time, I also saw how some clean energy technologies had begun to compete with agriculture for limited land, which threatened global food security. Many people may not know, but in my time as governor of Ilocos Norte, we put up the first commercial wind farm in Southeast Asia. Ganun ang aking paniniwala sa renewables. We have now moved more to the solar simply because the technology has improved. It is a little more affordable and especially with the development of the battery technology, one of the weaknesses always seen about renewable, and then for renewable, I include solar, uh, wind, uh, even wave uh, collection, uh, energy collection, all of these other renewables. Laging nagiging problema, papano yung base load? Ano yung base load? Base load is essentially for the industries uh, who run their factories at night because it is the cheapest rate. Ngayon, pag hindi, hindi, wala, hindi, nakas, hindi, na, na, hindi walang araw at gabi, Eh, walang ano, balik na tayo, kagaya ng inay paliwanag, we go back to fossil fuel. With the uh, advent of actual reliable and viable energy uh, battery technology, we can now get around that problem, we can now get around that weakness of renewable energy because the battery technologies will be able to collect power and to continue to provide that power even when the, there is no sun, even when uh, mahina, ma, ma, maulap, halimbawa, o, umuulan, o may bagyo, nandiyan naman yung mga baterya, kahit papano, makakapagbigay pa rin ng uh, kuryente para sa taong bayan. Today, we just witnessed the energization of the first hybrid agro-solar and battery storage system in the country that will bring hope for a safer and cleaner future while at the same time helping secure our food supply. Another new feature of this project is uh, the fact that there is, they use the same land to grow crops, to grow vegetables, to grow uh, agricultural products, so that uh, the, the, the land is categorized as agroenergy, which is a new category altogether. So, Secretary Sharon, we have to work hard for the government to catch up. This is what we always, we had government has to catch up to the technology that our private sector partners are providing. 
dito sa Batangas, pinapakita natin sa buong mundo ng solar power ang daang tungo sa isang pangmatagalan at malinis na paraan ng pagbibigay liwanag sa ating mga tahanan at industriya. Kalumbangan ng Nuntal Power Projects of City Core Solar Batangas 1 gives us up to 197 megawatts of renewable energy reinforced by a 320 megawatt hour battery storage system. Ibig sabihin, makakapaghatid ito ng kuryente sa hanggang 158,000 kabahayan. Mababawasan din ng higit sa 265,000 toneladang carbon dioxide emission kada taon. Malaki lang kayo, 265,000 tons of carbon dioxide emission. Katumbas ng pagtanggal ng libo-libong sasakyan sa kalsada, mas malinis ang hangin, mas ligtas ang ating kapaligiran. Sa pamamagitan naman ng Agro-Solar Initiative, nakikipag-ugnayan ang City Corps sa ating mga magsasaka upang magtanim sa ilalim at sa paligid ng mga solar panel. Bukod sa nagagamit ng husto ang espasyo, makakadagdag pa ito sa kita ng mga magsasaka at makakatulong pa sa pagtiyak natin sa supply ng pagkain. Ang tawag sa ganitong gawi ay agrovoltaics. Agrivoltaics. Ibig sabihin, pinagsasabay ang pagtatanim at ang pag-generate ng energy. Nababawasan ang kompetisyon sa lupa ng agrikultura at enerhiya. Kayang pasabayin ang pagsulong ng food security at renewable energy. Patunay lang na kapag may malasakit, may paraan. This project reminds us of the importance of working closely with the private sector. We thank City Corps once again for working with us to bring clean and reliable energy to every Filipino home. We also look forward to the realization of City Corps' goal to add 5 gigawatts of clean energy in the next five years. And You made, you, made, you made the mistake of mentioning, mentioning the 5 gigawatts. Nabanggit mo na. Wala na. Wala nang atrasa niyan. Andyan si Secretary Sharon, every, every time magbubukas kayo, yun, 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 kinakalkula niya. Aabutin ba talaga nila yung 5 gigawatts o hindi? Well, sinasabi niyo, this year, you will almost 1, meg, 1 gigawatt. And this will be the first gigawatt solar uh, solar project uh, in the Philippines. Wala, wala pang ganitong scale. At uh, kung may patuloy na nga, 5 gigawatts in the next 5 years. Habang ang City Core at iba pang mga investor ay patuloy na nagtatayo ng mga pasilidad na kagaya nito, gumagawa naman ng pamahalaan ng mga hakbang upang isulong at palawakin ang renewable energy sa ating bansa. Sa pamamagitan ng Energy Virtual One-Stop Shop at Green Lanes, pinapabilis at pinapadali natin ang proseso para sa mga renewable energy project. Sa katunayan, ang ilang proyekto ng City Corps tulad nito ay dumaan sa Green Lanes na makakapagbilis sa pagtutupad ng ganitong klaseng proyekto. Kasabay nito, ang Department of Energy at iba pang ahensya ng pamahalan at ang NGCP ay patuloy na nagkakaisa upang matiyak na may sapat na transmission line at infrastruktura upang may hatid ang kuryente sa ating tahanan, paaralan at mga negosyo. So be assured that the Department of Energy will continue to implement measures that drive investments into the sector and to expedite the approval of renewable energy projects. To our LGUs, I encourage you to strengthen your partnerships with investors so that more agro-solar projects can serve as models for both food and energy security. Ladies and gentlemen, the Philippines is open to the future. We are open to business and innovation. Our arms are open to a future where clean energy is the norm. Makakatiyak kayo na ang inyong pamahalaan ay patuloy na nagahanap ng mga paraan upang makabuo ng mas malinis na enerhiya na mabibigay nating magbibigay ng liwanag sa ating bagong Pilipinas. Isang maunlad na bagong Pilipinas para sa kasalukuyan at sa mga hinaharap ng ating mga susunod na henerasyon. Maraming maraming salamat 
at mabuhay ang City Core Solar Batangas. Mabuhay ang bagong Pilipinas. Maraming maraming salamat. The facility is a 125 megawatt peak solar with 360 megawatt hour battery. Uh, this is pioneering because through this plant, we're aiming to deliver power for 24 hours uninterrupted. We are very careful to maintain the agriculture intent of the land. We work in partnership with local farmers, so we employ them, we provide the, the seeds where they can plant and grow high-value crops. And then kami na rin yung off-taker. So we, we help augment the income of the farmers. Alam naman natin, di ba, yung si BBM is pushing for renewable energy. So yung kanina sinabi ni Oliver, yung 10 megawatt, ano ibig sabihin doon? We are supplying directly to the Batelec, sa local, meaning embedded siya ho. It doesn't have to course through the, the grid. So ano ibig sabihin? Mas makakamura yung presyo. At hindi siya fossil fuel based, meaning wala ko tayong binabayaran na Na, na gasolina so we're not susceptible to price increase so this could be the new generation of power source wherein the power cost is fixed and stable hindi kung kailangan tumaas yung dollar yung peso bumaba tumataas ang presyo natin so ito yung trust din ni President BBM our vision has been to supply pure reliable renewable energy for the Philippines uh, with this technology, we're starting to see na pwede pala. Uh, so we can already address the, the base load requirement of the Philippines. And we are here to continue to support the, the Renewable Energy Transition Program of the Department of Energy. And obviously, at the end of the day, consumer din kami. So our desire is to bring down, lower down cost of electricity to every Filipino household. Marami pong advantage to city core project na to. This is this will deliver uh, number 1, magde-deliver to ng 125 megawatts of solar power. Na uh, malinis na energy ang madedeliver niya. Pangangailangan natin 'yan eh. We will always need more power for energy security. Second, this is the first of its kind in the country na yung solar power, base load power siya. Ano ibig sabihin ng base load power? Yun yung steady lang. Ang solar kasi Paket pa baba. Depende kung may clouds or gabi, wala kang solar power. Pero eto naman, dahil napakalaki ng battery nila, ang sobra na solar power sa umaga, tinatago nila at ibabato nila sa gabi. And they will deliver 50 megawatts of base load. Yun yung steady lang 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days in a year. No? So eto 50 megawatts. Malaki yan. Uh, malaking impact yan. Kasi tayo kasi, konsumo lang natin sa bahay, ilan lang naman, 200 megawatts, 500 meg, uh, uh, kilowatt hours, or maliit lang yung konsumo ka na bahay. So this will benefit uh, thousands of houses. Now, ang, sec ang third niyan, uh, what's, what's beautiful about this project is that meron silang agriculture. So meron silang pa solar panels, tinaasan nila yan ng konti, at magtatanim sila sa ilalim. So ngayon, inikot nga namin, tatanim sila ng sili or okra para testing muna and then uh, they will add more no? depende sa anong bagay dito pero this will also help employment for our communities here and also meron tayong mga produce na agriculture na mabibenta nila sa mga tindahan dito or in, uh, in establishments in Metro Manila so multi-pronged uh, ang advantage nitong pro project nito Ito po, uh, as a uh, directive ng presidente natin, we, will, we, we are working hard so we can reach 35% of our energy mix na renewable energy. Ito po, maganda po na directive to kasi hindi lang po nasisigurado yung energy security natin, hindi lang po, uh, pero malinis pa na energy security. And the third point is indigenous, atin na atin to. Atin yung, uh, yung, yung solar power, atin din yung wind power, tsaka water, no? ang hydro. So, this is a uh, full circle, no? This is uh, a good directive because it will benefit our country. No? It will benefit our country in several ways. So, uh, kami po, very inspired kami to reach the 35% by 2030. And I'm, I think our investors, our developers are also inspired. So, salamat po, Mr. President, for inspiring us to do good work.